praise the Lord, my dear children and elderly people like my father, mother, brothers and sisters and grandchildren and youth. May you prosper in everything as your soul prosper. May you multiply in thousand times than this present time. May all of your endeavors come to great success because of the favor of the Lord Almighty. Deuteronomy 28, 12 and 14. I always wish and desire that you should not become a tail by the head. That means in your life you have to go up and up because God's ways are always higher than our ways. That's what written in Isaiah 55 verse 9. You may think that I have no beauty, no comeliness. I have not much educational qualifications. I have not been born in a rich family. I am being outcast. I am not so eloquent in speech. Or you can say, I have not that kind of excellent wisdom to study. Or I have not a skillful wisdom. In many ways, you are telling all kinds of impossibilities arises in your body, mind, soul. It's very usual. It's very usual. Some say, I'm Down syndrome. I cannot do anything. Some say, I'm very weak, valid problem. I cannot do anything. Some say, my father is a drunkard. And my father and mother always fighting. That's why I cannot concentrate in studies. Some say, even if I want to do a business, my background is very poor. How can I come up in life? And some say, I have not had such kind of knowledge and wisdom and beauty and comeliness, popularity like others. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. All of you are a beautiful roses in the garden of God. Whether your color changes or whether your background changes, that doesn't matter. In God's sight, there is no racism. In God's sight, there is no differences. There is no partiality. Our God is a righteous person. A person of justice and truth can never, never do anything partial. There is no bond for his true love. So today, we have good courage. Don't cry. Don't nagging all the times. Don't murmur. How can I face this situation? What I am going to speak? How I am going to challenge this? Don't ask like that. Every day, as soon as you wake up, just praise the Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty is in heavens. Why He is so high? Because He has created everything. And His eyes are same like eagles. The more highest place the eagles are flying, the eyesight was so sharpened even to catch the small mice. Similarly, the Lord Almighty, the Most High God, who created the heavens, the whole universe, stars and planets, empty space, He has to be in the highest place. He established His throne in heavens. That's what the Bible says. If he is in a lower level, how can he rule the stars which are trillion into trillion light years distance? Can you imagine? So he has to be in the highest places. Not only that, he is so holy. The more holy person he is, no defiled thing can enter into his heaven. He is so Holy. But the Bible says, even the stars have been defiled when Satan ruled that. 
Even he put blame on his angels. He is living in unreached light. The most holy God as a spirit of God. Jehovah Adonai. That's why he is always stays in the highest place. But the Bible says in Ephesians 3.16 By faith he is in our hearts. And also 1 John 3.24 says when we are being filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus is there. And also the Bible says in Revelation 3.20, when we open our hearts to Jesus, He will come and stay with us. Actually, the Lord Almighty wants to stay with us. Revelation 21 verse 4. He wants to stay with us, my dear children. He had not abandoned His creation he always wants to stay with us. We only think that we are being abandoned, forsaken, and we have been forgotten. Not like that. He is always with us. In my young age, because of so much tormentation, torture, and suffering under severe servitude and cruel treatment by boarding warrants, I tried my best level to kill myself by attempting suicide. Even one time I took potassium cyanide and died after, according to doctors, one and a half hours I came to life. But even when my soul entered into bottomless pit, according to Psalm 139, 8, the Lord's hand was there because He loved me. He didn't want to leave me there. Understand? Even on one occasion, when the haunted dog surrounded me, I do not know whether you know about haunted dogs, or we say wild dogs, they're very cruel. They used to attack you with a group, 20, 24 dogs, they're just like wolves. Once they find a human being, or any animal, even the elephant, They'll finish that. So when I was being surrounded by a haunted dog in the forest, I was so afraid. Then suddenly I saw an angel with a sword and all the dogs run away. So even in danger, he was with me. He loves me. Why? I loved his word. John 15 verse 10. John 14, 21, 23. I was so ferocious reader of the holy books. All the time the word of God is being running. Even the night, even in the bathroom, even when I sleep, when I walk, in my office place, everywhere is being run. I like this. I put my whole desire on the word of God. More than gold, frankincense, diamonds, and more than attaining the whole world because the word of God has life and truth and the way. So, the Lord says, I want to stay with the human being. That's why when he created Adam and Eve, he desires to come down all the way from heaven. Trillions into trillions into trillions into trillions. Unmeasured distance. He came down in the cool of the day and put Adam on his bosom and led him to different, different kinds of animals and asked him to name them. They have a very good acquaintance each other. They have a habitual walking until... They sinned against God, disobeyed to His commandments. But now, let me tell you, whether you're a sinner or whether you're a holy person, whether you're a preacher or whether you're a common person, whether you know Him or not, He wants to stay with you. Is it not a glad tidings? Is it not a good news? Someone wants to stay with you all the time. The person who is going to stay with you is not an ordinary person. The most wisest person, the most strongest person, 
the most powerful person who can do any impossible thing the most great god who can protect you from all danger from all enemies and the most richest person in the world who is able to make you rich even out of your poverty and financial pinches remember that consider that the one who is going to stay with you is not an ordinary person not as a head of some institution not like higher authorities of the nations and the world he is above and not only that the one who conquered the death and conquered the pangs of death and risen again from death so do you want him to stay with you yes i know you want yes my dear children when i accepted him at the age of 12 even at the age of 7 so many things obstructed obstructed me on my way of improving on my way of going higher higher so many disappointments so many cruel things so many threatenings of life i never thought i would come up to this level but all the time one hope was in me with god i can improve myself i can go higher and higher i have a good friend in singapore actually if you know about their birthplace you wonder you wonder actually their parents are not so rich they are very poor with hard earnings their parents just feed them fed them cared for them but with a little money they studied engineering and went to foreign countries and finished a lot of degrees not only one At the same time they have the holy spirit and the holy spirit in them always inspired their heart prompting their heart to go higher and higher and higher the day when i met them from that day i am noticing them they are going higher and higher and higher why number 1 they respected the man of god they are very humble they never get pride even in every victory they never fail to praise god and to give glory to him and the other thing is they want to do a great thing in order to bring forth glory to god not glory to the name that's why god gave them abundant wisdom favor guidance so that they may become world number first yes my dear children this is the way you cannot come up by yourself your parents may have millions of money but you cannot come up by yourself but with god all things are possible god said to abraham in genesis 18:14 with god all things are possible abraham you are going to be 100 years your wife going to be 90 years there is no enjoyment but i will come unto you you have a son and to mary the angel gabriel said with him is possible the angel said i know the lord knows that you are virgin but you will begotten a son through holy spirit how it will be possible number 1 put trust in the lord almighty who is able to guide you lead you lift you up once he wanted to lift you up no one can stop it no one can stop his decision no one can stop him and ask why you are left to this person only cannot his will be done psalm 33 verse 9 and 10 and he is able to accomplish whatever concerns you so remember to glorify the lord early in the morning and after every victorious thing happen in your life 
And secondly, be diligent, not be lazy. Work hard. When I want to study MRCP or MRCS, it, the education had not been given to me because I was an orphan child. So they sent me to concentration camps to work hard. Then I ran away from those camps and I came to unknown place. But the word of God always inspired my heart, prompting me to study more. I started to study under street lights in villages. When all the village people are sleeping, I study. I work hard for my earnings. Also, I study under street lights. Even now I'm studying. Yes, I don't want to be lazy. I want to be diligent. And I want to come up in a truthful manner, not in an injustice manner. I want to come up in life according to the standards of his commandments. Because I know that only lasts forever. Other things will seem to be go higher and then easily it can flatter. And the third thing, whenever you receive the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is a prompting spirit, willing spirit, steadfast spirit. Psalm 51, verse 10 to 12. Many people receive the Holy Spirit in these last days, but they are thinking Holy Spirit is being given to them only for tongues or interpretation. No, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. He will speak to you in the examination hall. He will speak to you when you are studying very critical things. He will speak to you whenever you are in, in bewilderment. He speaks to you when you are in fear. He speaks to you when you do not know the way where you to go, how to solve the problem. You can hear his voice and the Holy Spirit always triggering you to do something great for the glory of God. After I received the Holy Spirit, I spent four hours with God in the morning. Meditation with God never boring. I never sleep when I pray. But I sleep many days, many years, just three hours per day. That's enough. If I start to speak with God, I'll speak and He will speak. I'll wait for Him. When He speaks, He finished in five minutes all the things what I wanted. Isn't it? It's amazing. So one day, during my meditation time, the Holy Spirit told me, my son, four hours is going to finish. Take up your car and go where I'm leading. So, so I took my car, my driver asked me where to go. Then clearly I heard the voice, left, right, left, right. Some 23 kilometers. When we came to 23 kilometers, an unknown place, the Holy Spirit stopped me. Stop the car and I asked where to go and he said just opposite to the road a house is being opened. So obeying to his call I went into the home. That home not belongs to a Christian community or Christian faith. The whole house belongs to other faith. Normally you cannot enter in that way but every door is being opened. And a very weak, lean lady, just dragging one by one of our children and just draw them near with a high tension wire. If I miss just one minute, all of them died by electrified. And the Holy Spirit says, are you able to see what's happened? When I saw two of the young daughters they are suffering of muscle dystrophy. Muscle dystrophy. And another person, blind, deaf, and polio, Down syndrome. So the father ran away. The mother always washed them and then cleared up the also excretions and made them to put dress and feed them. But one day she became very tired. Very tired. She decided to end up her life. 
then without her knowledge and i suddenly entered i say woman what are you going to do she just answered don't stop me don't stop me we want to touch this high tension wire electricity is passing and we want to be burned alive electrified and want to become charcoal and i said no no please wait you may belongs to other religion or other faith that's matter jesus loves every person everyone please then i just dragged them to a table nearby and i just look at them and i cried to jesus then all of a sudden jesus appeared three of them became all right three of them became all right yes my dear children the holy spirit always prompting us to do something great with his help in his name with his blood with his wounds so don't allow the holy spirit to sleep in your heart then he will go away first how it happened after you receive the holy spirit you can hear his very tender voice distinct voice from your own conscious from your own mind voice okay so heed unto that very meek and very very tiny voice so as much as you hear the voice you become practical you become acquainted with that voice then all the other worldly voice your own voice will fly away his voice will dominate understand when i received the holy spirit holy spirit start to tell me shut your mouth close your eyes close your ears don't continue argue leave this place in that way he start to guide me then as the days go by sometimes in one occasion he told me let the rain comes out of no clouds it came when i speak in catholic fathers church there were no clouds there were no water in canals but the holy spirit says come on this congregation 6000 people need the rain for the paddy field then i look up there were no clouds but the holy spirit says rain will come 3 to 6 inches and i just told holy spirit i won't tell because there were no clouds there were no water in the wells or canals but the holy spirit just replied have i ever told you any wrong thing or have i ever lied to you speak boldly but even then silent voice who is the daroy you marry you have 6 acres of land paddy field you need one more rain today jesus is giving rain and then i hold the hands of the father and start to run to his premises nearby because he just prepared a night meal for me i didn't want to face the crowd before we step down the last step heavy rain but no clouds this not in the night this happens 4 o'clock in the evening can you imagine so my dear children obey to holy spirit voice holy spirit will never speak on his own he'll speak from the father he speaks from jesus speeches so be of good courage receive the holy spirit god has promised in the last days i'll pour my spirit upon each and every person shall we pray oh heavenly father you have created us with one purpose lord with one purpose that we have to be a real witness for you while we living in this world the bible never talks about the ordinary christians the bible talks about the heroes of christianity who challenge all those kinds of impossibilities they were all very known persons and they had been uplifted even from the poorest background some were slaves some were shepherd boys 
and some were in jail, and some were, I mean, outcasted. Some were in the deserts, but you raised them up to highest level because you were with them. Similarly, whomsoever think that they cannot come up in the life, please be with them, uplift them, prompting the good spirit in them, give them steadfast spirit, willing spirit, so that they can go on, run higher and higher, climb to the peak of the mountain with faith, holding your hand. Please help them, Lord. Take away all sorts of negative thoughts that come from Satan. And take away all the thoughts of fear, unnecessary fear and self-pity. And make these dear ones to be always happy in you. And always make them to know that they are not the children of ordinary parents, but they are the children of the Most High God. He is able to lift them up to the highest level. Bless them. Bless them. Cleanse them. Lead them. To the high road. In Jesus' precious name we ask. Amen. Amen. God be with you. Don't be depressed. Don't give way to self-pity. Don't continue to think negative thoughts. Don't confine in a darkened room always. Do not always play these computer games and unwanted things. Think positively. Think higher. That's not pride. Think higher. If you become higher and higher, you can be a tool and instrument in the hands of God to feed thousands, to bring forth hope to the thousands and millions of despised, outcast, and hopeless and hapless. Understand? So rise up to a higher level. We are here to pray for you. We want to hear from you. Please introduce this kind of English messages both to your friends and family members. God bless you.